Hi there, it's Lachlan Kalish here from the Division of Learning and Teaching and we're going to have a look today briefly at Smart Views. So for a bit of context, we're looking at a subject site here which has uh, four cohorts, not just the one, where we've got one subject site that has been uh, merged, it's had three other uh, cohorts merged or consolidated into this subject site, so all of the students see the same site, all of the instructors see the same site, which is great. So this means that we have by default a parent site so, or a master site, and in this case that is a Bathurst internal site, and we have three child sites, and they are Albury internal, Port Macquarie internal, and Wagga internal. And if you're in your, your grade centre and you've opened up your full grade centre, if you hover over this column, child subject ID, you'll see the ID there ending in uh, W underscore I for Wagga. So what I want to show you today is a way to get uh, a shortcut for each of your markers or your instructors, for example, to jump into their child sites for marking, which is going to make that a lot easier than trying to sort through the full listing. So if we click on this box up the top here, for example, there's 171 students in here. Okay, so that's not going to work for us having to go through that uh, and find all the individual ones necessarily. It can be a bit annoying. So there are some um, pros and cons to doing this process, mostly pros, uh, and I'll circle back to what the downside is. All right, so firstly, let's create our smart view that will show us our child, uh, child cohorts. So if I go up to manage and we go down to smart views, I'm going to create a new smart view. And remembering that Bathurst internal was the parent site, let's make one for the child sites. So uh, what did I say? So we had one for Albury internal. So let's call this the Albury cohort. In fact, let's get literal. We'll call it Albury internal. And then we're going to scroll down to the selection criteria that we want to show in here. And we're going to change this to custom. And the criteria that we're going to use is our child subject ID. And the condition that we want is that we want that ID to be uh, containing the term Aubrey internal or A underscore I. That's Aubrey internal. The last thing that we need to do right down the bottom is that when we filter it, we want to make sure that we're showing all of our columns for grading. Otherwise, it's not going to show us our assignments. So all columns. Now when we hit submit, it has created Aubrey internal for us. And if we select and over here on the right hand side, we're going to add it as a favorite. Scroll down and save. It's created the smart view and the way that we see it, if we scroll right down the bottom of our site, underneath the grade center, we now have a link to Aubrey internal. And if we click on this, your instructors will just get their students from Aubrey internal, no one else's. So this is going to make marking their assessments, for example, a lot easier. They'll be able to jump in here and just populate their cohort rather than trying to sort through 170 submissions. I'm going to do this one more time for this recording just to, to, to cover the process again. We'll do it for another one of the cohorts. So we go down into our full grade center. We are going to go into the manage column and we're going to create a smart view. Now we've already created Aubrey internal. So let's do one of the other cohorts, Port Macquarie. So we're going to create a smart view. We might do Wagga. So we'll call this Wagga internal. We go down to our type of view, change it to custom. We switch our criteria to the child subject ID and we want it to contain and the abbreviation we're looking for here is W underscore I for Wagga internal and remembering that we want it to filter and show all columns and submit. Okay, now that has added it to the list. It's alphabetized though. So here we go, Wagga internal down the bottom. I'm now going to make sure that that is added as a favorite. Click OK. 
And if we scroll right down again underneath our grade center, we now have a link also to Wagga internal. So that instructor can now go in and just do, <clears throat> just see their students and their marking. So this is one way that it's going to make that process easier for you. All right, so thank you. This is going to um, provide uh, some affordances for you, some shortcuts for your marking teams. And in a merge subject site, sometimes that can be a little bit tricky, sorting through 170 students to get to the, the 15 or 20 that are yours. So hopefully this process of creating the smart views will uh, alleviate some of that, uh, that time. So thank you, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.